ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليل بلغ الرساله وادى الامانه ونصح الامه وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى اتاه من ربه اليقين فصلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى صحابته الاخيار وعلى التابعين ومن تبعهم باحسان الى يوم الدين الله اكبر 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 لا اله الا الله الله اكبر الله اكبر ولله الحمد in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful all praises be to the one the creator the sustainer of the heavens and the earth and may Allah's peace and blessings be upon his final messenger Muhammad brothers and sisters you know yesterday as I was attending one of my kids soccer match my son Hassan had a game yesterday and if you know it was heavy rain but they still decided to play in the rain and I asked what is it that makes someone suffer difficulty and hardship and still do it and as we're leaving the match his coach I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him guidance he's a great coach and mentor his name is Derek he said oh and happy Eid as we're leaving knowing that Hassan played while he was fasting yesterday so it got me thinking about this notion of Ramadan and what we endure during 30 days and for what purpose but more importantly it made me question what are we doing today what's today the day of Eid. Eid means celebration. The Prophet وسلم, reminds us in a hadith لِصَائِمِ farhatan that for the fasting person there are two happiness. The first happiness is when they break their fast. And the second happiness is when they meet their Lord. Why? Because in a hadith Qudsi we are reminded that all the actions of the son or the daughter of Adam is for them except fasting Allah is saying that fasting is for me I am going to reward what I want for fasting so what are we celebrating today? Eid Eid. But we are not celebrating the end of Ramadan. We are celebrating the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, insha'Allah. We are celebrating completing 30 days of asking for Allah's rewards. We are celebrating 30 days of connection. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are celebrating someone who has been released from the hellfire, insha'Allah. We are celebrating someone who has come out of this month with their sins forget, for, forgiven as if they are just newly born. This is the celebration of Eid. The celebration of Eid isn't celebrating the end of Ramadan. The celebration of Eid should be celebrating the beginning of righteousness. Should be celebrating that I have just gone through this gauntlet of fasting, of difficulty, of night prayer, of tilawa, of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that I may be celebrating that I am amongst the forgiven insha'Allah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us all amongst those who are forgiven. 
I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us all our fasting. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us all our qiyam. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us all our recitation of the Qur'an. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the Qur'an the spring of our hearts, the light of our eyes, and for it to continue with us throughout our lives and into our graves, that it may be a light for us in our graves. Ameen. Brothers and sisters, our Eid isn't celebrating the end of Ramadan. Our Eid is celebrating our worship and our remembrance and our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ali ibn Abi Talib karramallahu wajha said, Eid is every day that I am able to stay away from sin and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let this Eid be the beginning of many Eids to come. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد. وصلى الله على محمد وعلى آل محمد. You know. I was thinking, what ayah is the right ayah for us to remember on this blessed day? And as we have just come out of the month of the Qur'an, the ayah that I felt most relevant to reflect upon with you today for the next two minutes is an ayah in Surah Al-Isra. Ayah 9 of Surah Al-Isra, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us, إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ يَهْدِي لِلَّتِي هِيَ أَقْوَمْ وَيُبَشِّرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ أَجْرًا حَسَنًا That this Qur'an guides to what is best. And in the Arabic language, when we use this sigha, this Arabic use of af'al, aqwam, means the best of something. Right? It means the highest form of something. So the Qur'an guides us to what is the highest form of who we need to be. It guides us to the highest level of where we need to achieve, of guidance, of closeness to Allah, of living our life of purity as Muslims. And when it guides you to that level, Right? It gives us glad tidings that we will get the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What more could we want? So brothers and sisters, this month that we just went through returned us to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us not neglect it in the rest of the year. The book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us a guidance and a vision for life. Let us not neglect that book. Because it's a guidance. It makes us better people. It really elevates us. So let's not leave the Qur'an on the shelf now for another 11 months remembering it again. If Allah gives us life to the next Ramadan. Subhanallah, this year I personally know many people who did not make it with us. Some of them who were giants in this own masjid. One of our board members. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have ultimate mercy on him and elevate him. Brother Samir Salah passed away at the beginning of Ramadan. He was one of the people that had a big role in this masjid. So we don't know if we're making it to the next Ramadan. Let's not neglect the Qur'an for the next 11 months and remember it again next Ramadan. So what are the three things you do today on the day of Eid? Number one, Celebrate. This is a day of celebration. It's a day of us saying, Ya Allah, I listened to you, I obeyed you, I listened, I was responding to you. And by the way, the response to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is evidence for that the dua is answered. Right? Right? If my servant asks of me, I am close answering the dua. Let them respond to me. So we responded to Allah in Ramadan, asking that our dua be accepted. So celebrate today. 
Celebrate and make sure it's a happy day. If you have just your family, call another family, let them come celebrate with you. That's number one. Number two, the Quran. Spend just a few minutes opening the Quran today, even as you opened it during Ramadan. Just a few minutes. I know some of us have our word, maybe one juz or two juz or three juz. No, it's okay. Maybe you don't finish the full word today, but at least recite a couple of ayat to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we didn't just stop. So that's number two. Number three. And this is advice for myself as much as it is for any all of you. Make your kids happy. Make your kids happy. This is a day to celebrate. This is a day that we have gone through this month that some of our kids have fasted with us, have stood with us, have spent the night with us. Let's make them feel that this is a day of celebration. And have patience. I was leaving the house today and I was really pushing my family because I had it to get for the khutbah. So I was worried I'd be late and I was very angry. So I'm reminding myself as much as I'm reminding you to have patience today, inshallah. But for the kids, who knows what I'm going to tell the parents. For the kids, this is a day you get ice cream. Okay, you already have ice cream. So make sure to ask Baba and Mama, say the Imam of Eid, he said you have to take us out for ice cream. Okay? So this is how we celebrate. We have to make our kids feel like this is more important than any other celebration. More important than the celebration. This is how we live the Muslim identity in this society. So kids, it's a day of ice cream. Inshallah, maybe some candy. ta'ala, And some fun. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us our fasting. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to count us amongst those who have been forgiven. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive those who were not with us this Eid as they were with us the last Eid. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us in His constant reminder, remembrance, and to make us of those who are the people of the Qur'an and continue to be so until the end of our lives. Ameen. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd, Eid Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's your name? Sudais. Sudais? Yes. Okay. What's what do you what's the deal? I'll read the Quran. No, okay, read the Quran, good. But what are you going to ask Baba? I'm giving you ice cream. Ice cream, that's right. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. What's your name? Muhammad, Eid Mubarak. What's your name? Huh? Assalamu alaikum. Ice cream. Don't forget, ice cream. All right? We got a deal? Inshallah. Inshallah. Even you can ask for ice cream, <laughs> Jibran. Where's your dad? <laughs> I give you ice cream. <laughs> Even he's, I give he's not too, too old yet. Okay, candy too. Okay, she's like, I move on. Hey man, you lost a lot of weight, dude. How are you?